What's up Cloud Gamers? Welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use your own controllers to play Google Stadia. The beautiful thing about Stadia is you can actually use controllers that you already own. So say if you have a DualShock 4 controller, an Xbox One controller, a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, you can actually use those controllers to play Google Stadia. Now this works on mobile devices and on PC. For Chromecast, you actually need to use the Google Stadia controller that comes with it. You can actually pair this with Bluetooth to play that on the Chromecast. So if you guys are interested in this video, Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want more content on how to when it comes to cloud gaming. All right, so let's stay tuned for the rest of this video. All right, fellas, so to get started, I'm gonna show you guys how you actually pair these controllers to Google Stadia to begin with, and then I'll show you guys how they all work with Google Stadia. So to get started, let's start off by pairing the Xbox one controller so it's pretty simple right all you have to do is you have to hold this button on the xbox controller so once you hold this you have to turn it on first but you hold this button you're gonna see it blink multiple times and then it tells you that it's been disconnected so if you have a smartphone all you have to do is go to connections this is an android phone so again if you have an android phone go to connections let me stop this let me scan for it and you can see it's blinking, right? So because it's blinking, it should show up here. So you can see it pops up Xbox Wireless, and then pretty simple, it should pair this to the smartwatch, smartphone, and you should be good to go. So here it goes, it connected and it paired it. So as you can see here, Xbox controller. So this is officially connected, right? So now let's pair the PlayStation DualShock 4 controller. So it's pretty simple to do this. All you have to do is hold the PlayStation button in the middle and the share, right? So we'll hold it together and you'll see up here, it's going to do some funky flashing thing. You guys see that, right? So now if we scan on an Android device, we should be able to see wireless controller right here. So this is the Sony one. So we're gonna click that and it should sync this. As you see, okay, so it's asking us, do we want to pair it? So we're going to pair that and why Viola. Now this is synced to the Android device, right? So you see here it has the Xbox and it has the wireless control, which is the Shock 4. Now the last controller to pair is the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. And to do this is pretty simple as well. So you hold this button up top here for the Switch two seconds and then you see this start moving like that that means it's ready to pair again we're gonna scan for it on the Bluetooth uh, setup page and then an Android device and you see right here it stays pro controller if you guys can see that bring it closer so we click this and then we go up here and it's asking us now to pair it so we're gonna hit OK and then it pairs so as you can see we have the Pro controller paired, we have the Xbox uh, Xbox controller paired, and we have the PS DualShock controller paired. So now they're all paired to this device, right? So all we have to do next is just open up Google Stadia. Let's pick a multiplayer game where you can use multiple controllers. So we're gonna go with NBA 2K. We're gonna just launch it here. Okay, we're gonna exit, we're gonna go. The interesting thing with the Nintendo Switch uh, Pro Controller is that even when it's paired, this light keeps going like this. So if you see this, don't freak out. It's pretty normal. It's paired and I'll show you guys that it's actually working even though this is still going crazy like this. So as you can see here, this is officially booted up to Google Stadia NBA 2K and I'm using my Xbox One controller right now to control it. So I'm gonna go to play now. I'm gonna hit quick play and then show you guys that all of these are synced and paired and you can actually use every single one. So this is the Xbox I'm gonna move. You're gonna see it move here. So that's my name. See it moving here. 
So that sink disconnected. So we're gonna put this one here. We're gonna take the DualShock controller, as you can see. That's paired as well. So we're gonna put that here. We all gonna be in the same team, why not? I think it's easy to control. And now the Pro, Nintendo Switch Pro controller, we're gonna move and you can see it moving on there, right? So this is paired as well. So we can use that as well. So we got all of it synced up. All right, so we should be good to go now, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna show you guys a little gameplay of it working. So the game has finally loaded and I'm in the game with all of these controls. As you can see, you can see circles around all my three controllers, right? So again, I'm just gonna show you guys that they all connected. So this is my Xbox controller. You see me moving with this character, right? Let me pass it. So I'm gonna, oh, I got a three second violation, oof. <laughs> so I will use the PlayStation controller right now. And you see my guy move in here. All right, again, this is the DualShock controller and I'm using it right now to play so you guys can see, okay. And then this should be my pro controller now. All right, so again, I'm using the pro controller and that's my guy right there with the yellow. You guys see it moving. See again, pro controller connected. So I'm using all these three controllers right now and it works. So this is how you connect multiple controllers to Google Stadia and you can play with all of them at the same time. All right, fellas, that's it for this video. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more tutorial and how-to videos when it comes to cloud gaming. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace out.